Hi, welcome to the Mellow Life Kitchen. If it's your first time here, I'm Beth. And thank you for coming along and spending your time with me today. What my video today about is making sandwich spread and utilizing some prepper items to create that sandwich spread. So you will see coming up that I use bologna to create my sandwich spread. However, I have a lot of prepper items and they are stored in my basement along with um, freeze dried items, my canned items, um, anything that I have stored for long term food storage and preparation. One of the items that I use a lot, or buy a lot I should say, is the canned hams. These guys are like five dollars. Um, they have a very long shelf life. I've had this probably a year and it's still good until 2026. So this is a great staple to have for a meat item. And then another one is tuna fish. You can mix this with either of these. It's actually really, really good. This is the sweet pickle relish. And this is the video I just released today. This is my mustard relish that I just made and I posted that video today. But, so basically this is sweet cucumber relish, but it's got the mustard component. Good stuff. So, do you like mustard or don't you? That's your determination of which one you're gonna pick, but they're both really good. Now, this inspired me to actually go, hmm, what else could you put with these pantry stable items and make them good if in case of an emergency you need to start eating some of these things so again you have the canned ham but how about these Vienna bites season them up with a relish and put it on some bread if you have it stay tuned I'll show you how to make some of that sandwich spread but I'm going to be using bologna lunch meat you could use ham lunch meat you could use bologna lunch meat but it's a really really good sandwich spread. Don't knock it till you try it. It's good stuff. Stay tuned. Come along. Here's the bologna that I'm using in today's spread. I grew up on ham spread and I love it. So you can take leftover ham. You could use ham lunch meat. You could use bologna. You could use canned ham. Um, you could do it with tuna fish, salmon, anything. You can also add this, these relishes into potato salads, egg salads, macaroni salads. So it's great and versatile. Today we're doing an old fashioned ham spread from the 70s. I know that was a little bit hard to hear over that. I was saying it was an old fashioned ham spread from the 70s. <laughs> um, but anyway, uh, here we are just making sure I'm getting everything ground up. I like it more of a puree. So that's how I'm making it. All right, here I'm going to be using my mustard cucumber relish. And this was a jar that I have in the refrigerator that is in a jar that I don't can in anymore. It's an old one. So I use, I store it just for things in my refrigerator or dehydrated, I use them for too. Um, so the spoon is not a big deal. I don't even measure, I kind of just eyeball this. So um, depends how much relish you like or not. I'd say it was probably a quarter cup. Put in some mayo. Again, I don't measure this either. I do less than more. You could always add more. You're just looking for it to come together. Blend it up really well. And literally, that's it. This is great with ham, too. If you have leftover ham at the holidays, great for sandwiches for lunches. Here we are. That's it. It's done. This gave me a good bit, and that was literally only one package of lunch meat, and it'll be good for pretty much the whole week for my husband and I to eat for lunch, for sandwiches. That's it. Old school sandwich spread. Thank you for coming along today. If you liked what you saw here today, please hit the thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more, consider subscribing. Thank you.